Hi, I'm Emil Fowry, a British Olympic dressage rider. In teaching the half pass, I think one of the most important factors is to not lose the quality of the trot and to not lose the through connection from the hind leg over the top line to the bridle. The most common mistake that riders make in teaching the half pass is again that they take the bend too much from the inside rein. What is the most important aspect for me to remember is that the horse should be positioned in the direction of the way of going. So I try to teach half pass in the most natural way for a horse to do it where they find it the easiest. I ask the rider to do in this case a big half circle at A to position the horse absolutely dead straight on a diagonal and I learned from one of the great masters old German masters something that I repeat to myself mentally always when I ride a half pass which is thumbs to ears to marker try and make sure that I always point my thumbs to the horse's ears and the horse's ears to the marker it helps me to get a nice even smooth bend one of the most common mistakes is are that people ride the horses too parallel and therefore the shoulders become parallel to the short side rather than be angled directly to the point of where they're going. That is when horses drop out of their natural trot and change the rhythm of the trot. So I'm going to ask Tom to ride forwards to trot when you're ready and to go large and then we are going to ride a half circle pointing the horse towards F and only for the last five or so meters am I going to ask Tom to position his right lower leg a little bit further back. I can hear you all at home saying yes well it's very nice and easy for Tom to demonstrate that so nicely there when you have a horse that possibly isn't at this level. Um, so of course we can show it to you on a more normal horse but by showing it to you on her the good thing is, is that you can see how easy it is when it's done right. Tom, again, on this direction now, please. A half circle. Ease your hand a little bit. Make sure she doesn't travel behind the vertical. Wait, wait. Thumbs, ears, marker. Good and forward to working trot. And we'll repeat this again, a half circle. The most important thing is, is to try and make sure that the horse remains in a constant even rhythm. Ease the hand a little forward, tiny bit of left flexion, shoulders to the wall, shoulders to the wall, hands level as a pair. You could see there that maybe Tom allowed her shoulders to come a little bit too parallel. We will repeat it again. But this time I'm going to ask Tom to make sure that her shoulders remain more angled towards the marker. Straight on the line first, no sideways, straight on the line, hands together as a pair, ease the hand and shoulders to the wall and ease your hand. Very good. Very good. That was a lot better. There we could see a definite sign of true bend developing at the end. And most important of all, it wasn't established from the inside rein. We will do one more on the left rein and this time I will ask Tom to start it maybe a little earlier. Big half circle, hands together as a pair. Ease your hand and most importantly, don't take back on the inside rein. Outside leg and ease your hand forward. That's it. Very nice. You can ask Tom to repeat it again. This time starting on a diagonal. Ease the hand forward and outside leg there and let go and ease the hand forward and you could see there she stayed in a much nicer trot rhythm all the way through that she maintained the consistency of the trot rhythm and that's the most important thing when you teach the half pass is to try and make sure that the horse does not alter the rhythm going into the half pass that's why I do it at first of all on a diagonal line as we did just now encouraging the horses naturally want to veer towards the wall anyway and by doing it that way you're encouraging the horse to do it in a lovely free trot maintaining the consistency of the rhythm.